so hi everyone today we'll be talking about what is random walk in statistics and probability so we have been talking a lot about lms and generative ai so just to take a break from that this time we'll talking about random walk which is a very baseline approach but is very very useful in different domains in data science so if you wish to know its importance i think in graph learning when you will when we'll be discussing about graph neural networks uh there is algorithm called as deep walk and node to wick which are used for node vectorization where they use is random walk random walk is also used as a baseline algorithm for time series prediction so basically if you have heard about what are weak learners in classification random walk can be taken as a weak learner for time series in reinforcement learning also random walk plays a very very important role in exploration strategies like uh whether you should go for a greedy approach exploration approach so random walk does play a role there also and algorithms like search uh, page rank you must have heard of page rank with larry page who started google eventually search engine ranking algorithms also do uses random walk so there are many many use cases where random walk is used but people actually don't know about it ki what random walk is so today we'll try to demystify that so it's a very very easy to, uh, concept that is taking random steps or events one after the other without following any pattern it's called as a random walk so I think it's very intuitive. Also, once you hear its name, random walk, it should mean that only, like random steps or random actions that you start taking in an episode or like one after the other, and you are not following any pattern. Now, once we jump into AI and machine learning, in different domains, this definition takes a different turn. So eventually, uh, it won't be the same when we talk about in time series and when we talk it in graphs. So in this particular uh, video, we'll be talking about random walk in time series and random walk in graph, and how these two differ from each other. So in case of random walk in time series, random walk refers to a random process, stochastic process, where the future value, like for example, you are standing at timestamp t. So once you are uh, standing at timestamp t, the future value t plus one would be determined using the current value plus a white noise term. This is called as a random walk. So random walk take can as I already told you can be considered as a weak learner and the equation looks something like this y t equals to y t minus one plus e t e t is a white noise term so I will tell you what is a white noise term also so this is the equation of a random walk in time series so basically you must be surprised but this is a modeling approach in time series which can help you predict your future values now white noise term in time series is characterized by con I mean this is a very very mathematical definition and I think you don't need to jump into much of what white noise is constant mean constant variance no correlation between current and past future observations and random unpredictable values so it can be taken as error terms only if you um just want to simplify things now there is one more concept built over random walk that is called as random walk with drift so in this case like for example at times in time series uh, we might be having a upward or downward trend so in that case is uh to counter that in random walk equation we will be adding a constant called as d that will be called as drift and this is called as random walk with drift here you can see the equation changes slightly so we are adding one more term that is plus d correlated random walk so it is also a variant of the original random walk that we talked about in time series so in this case we are introducing a correlation coefficient with the past values here you can see that p is the correlation coefficient that is getting assigned to the past value y t minus 1 now talking about random walk in graph so this is slightly different from what we are talking about in random walk in time series so this random walk is the one that we uh, like we started with our definition so a simple random walk it involves uh, a walker moving from one current node to a randomly chosen neighboring node that's it so uh, if i am assuming that you have basic understanding of what graphs are nodes and edges so in case of graphs you have multiple types of random walk so the baseline would be uh, we are standing at a node and randomly we are choosing a neighboring node to move to weighted random graph so in case of simple random graph the probability of moving to any other node was equal so like if you have an edge right but in case of weighted random walk it might be the case that at times in some use cases we wish to provide um, priority to some of the nodes so we provide them in the higher weightage compared to others so that they are preferred over others so this is called as a weighted random walk directed random walk as you must have understood it is not in any direction it uh, in this case the random walk can happen only in a particular direction so it is used as majorly directed graphs where we have directed edges so the next move can only possible to a node x if a directed edge is present between the current node and node x else you can't move 
self avoiding random walk so in such random walks uh, the walker tries to avoid the already visited nodes so in case of a simple walk you can again re revisit the already visited node but in case of self avoiding random walk once you have visited a node it is out of your uh, scope so you can't move to it again so in this way uh, we in this tutorial we understood what are random walks and how random walk the definition of it differs in time series and in graphs 